Buckle up as we take you on a journey through the top 10 places you must visit in France. Our first stop is none other than the iconic city of Paris. A city that has stood the test of time, Paris is a melting pot of history, culture and innovation. Its ancient streets whisper tales of the past, while its modern boulevards echo with the vibrancy of the present. Steeped in art and literature, Paris has been the muse of many a creator, inspiring masterpieces that have transcended generations. From the timeless beauty of the Louvre to the avant-garde Centre Pompidou, Paris is a city that celebrates creativity in all its forms. But it's not just art that defines Paris. The city's gastronomy scene is a culinary adventure, a symphony of flavors that dances on your palate. And then there's the iconic Eiffel Tower, a symbol of love and romance that has captured the hearts of millions. Known as the City of Lights, Paris is a beacon, illuminating the world with its culture, its spirit and its charm. Paris, a city that never fails to bewitch its visitors. Next, we find ourselves amidst the stunning lavender fields of Provence. Imagine, if you will, an ocean of purple gently swaying under the Provencal sun. This isn't just a picturesque landscape, it's a testament to centuries of tradition. Lavender farming in Provence is a craft passed down through generations, a rhythm attuned to the seasons and the soil. This fragrant herb isn't merely a plant here, it's a cultural icon, deeply woven into the region's identity. From perfumes and soaps to the renowned herbs de Provence, the scent of lavender is the scent of Provence itself. But did you know these fields also serve as a sanctuary for bees, making Provence home to some of the finest honey in France? Or that the best time to visit is mid-June to mid-July, when the lavender is in full bloom? Provence, a sensory feast of sight and scent. Now let's journey into the heart of France, to the fairy tale chateau of the Loire Valley. The Loire Valley, often referred to as the Garden of France, is a breathtaking tapestry of vineyards, farmland and forests, punctuated by over 200 chateaux. These chateaux, with their turrets, towers and ornate details, are a testament to the grandeur of France's bygone eras. From the fortress-like Chateau de Chignon, which played a key role in the Hundred Years' War, to the romantic Chateau de Chagnonceau, built over the Cher River, each chateau has a unique story to tell. Did you know that the Loire Valley was the preferred residence of kings of France during the Renaissance? Or that it was a strategic battleground during World War II? This region is not just rich in beauty, but also in history and culture. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply a dreamer, the Loire Valley has something for everyone. Loire Valley, a historic treasure trove of France. Our journey takes a somber turn as we visit the D-Day beaches of Normandy. This stretch of coastline resonates with history, forever memorializing the Allied forces' courageous push into German-occupied France during World War II. Each beach, christened with names like Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword, tells a tale of bravery and sacrifice. Venturing beyond the beaches, we delve into the rich culture of Normandy, from the charming half-timbered houses of Enfleur to the striking Gothic architecture of Rouen's cathedral, Normandy is a region steeped in history and beauty. It's also known for its culinary delights, including camembert cheese, cider, and Calvados apple brandy. Did you know that Normandy is also home to the iconic Mont Saint-Michel? A stunning abbey island that seems to float on the sea during high tide? A place of pilgrimage, wonder, and breathtaking views. Normandy, a poignant reminder of our past, now, let's venture into the vineyards of Bordeaux, France's world-renowned wine region. As the heart of the wine world, Bordeaux boasts a history steeped in viticulture that dates back to the first century. A tapestry of vineyards, wineries, and chateaux, the region is synonymous with quality and tradition. The culture of Bordeaux is intrinsically linked to its wines. The region's people, their gastronomy, their festivities all revolve around the magic of winemaking. Bordeaux's wine festivals are renowned, a testament to the region's passion for viticulture. Bordeaux is home to some unique wine facts, too. Did you know that there are over 10,000 wine-producing chateaux in Bordeaux? Or that the region produces close to 700 million bottles a year? And let's not forget, Bordeaux is the birthplace of the prestigious Cabernet, Sauvignon, and Merlot grape varieties. Bordeaux, a paradise for wine lovers, from the vineyards, we ascend to the snowy peaks of Chamonix. 
This enchanting place is more than just a winter wonderland. It's a testament to human resilience, a symbol of our yearning to scale new heights. Chamonix, nestled in the heart of the French Alps, has a rich history steeped in mountaineering. Its fame as a mountaineering hub began in the late 18th century when a local doctor offered a reward to the first person to climb Mont Blanc, the highest peak in the Alps. The culture here is a delightful blend of rustic charm and alpine sophistication. Mountain huts known as refuges dot the landscape, offering hearty meals and warm beds to those brave enough to tackle the rugged terrain. And did you know? The mountains here are so high that they have their own weather systems. Chamonix, a thrilling haven for adventurers. Our journey takes us to the magnificent Palais des Papes in Avignon. This grand palace, standing tall in the heart of the city, is a testament to Avignon's rich history. Built in the 14th century, it served as the residence of seven successive popes, a fact that cements its place as a crucial chapter in the annals of the Catholic Church. The Palais des Papes, with its imposing fortifications and intricate Gothic architecture, is a physical embodiment of the power and prestige the papacy held during the Middle Ages. It's not just a palace, it's a symbol of an era. But Avignon is not just about the past. The city is alive with culture, from its vibrant art scene to its sumptuous Provencal cuisine. It's a place where history meets the present, creating a unique blend that's distinctly Avignon. This palace, this city, hides countless stories within its stone walls and cobbled streets. Avignon, a city that whispers tales of the past. Now we set sail for the enchanting island fortress of Mont Saint-Michel. Emerging from the tides in Normandy, this rocky islet has held a strategic fortification since the 8th century and has been the seat of the pilgrimage dedicated to the Archangel St. Michael. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its stunning abbey, quaint shops and winding cobblestone streets, is like a fairy tale sprung to life. The culture of this region is deeply intertwined with the tides. At high tide, Mont Saint-Michel becomes a mesmerizing island, and at low tide it transforms into a majestic mount revealing the surrounding bay's fascinating landscapes. Did you know that this island fortress was unconquered during the Hundred Years' War? Its position made it easily defensible and the abbey's fortifications turned it into an impregnable fortress. Immersing yourself in the history and culture of Mont Saint-Michel is like stepping into another era. Mont Saint-Michel, a mystical island lost in time? Finally, we find ourselves basking in the glamour of the French Riviera. This sun-drenched stretch of the Mediterranean coastline is a dazzling display of opulence and natural beauty. Known to the French as the Côte d'Azur or Azur Coast, the Riviera has been a beacon for artists, writers, and the jet set for over a century. The history of the French Riviera is as rich as its lifestyle. From the ancient Greek colonists who planted the region's first vineyards to the Belle Epoque era that saw the arrival of the first grand hotels and casinos, the Riviera has always been a place of adventure and indulgence. Today, the French Riviera is synonymous with culture and joie de vivre. It's home to world-class art museums, iconic film festivals, and some of the finest cuisine in France. But it's not just about glitz and glamour. The Riviera also offers stunning natural landscapes, from its azure waters to its fragrant lavender fields. The French Riviera, a glittering jewel on the azure coast. And with that, our journey through France comes to a close. From the city that never sleeps, Paris, with its mesmerizing lights and timeless charm, to the soothing lavender fields of Provence that paint the French countryside purple. We've journeyed through the majestic chateau of Loire Valley and walked the historical D-Day beaches of Normandy. We've sipped on the exquisite wines of Bordeaux and touched the snow-capped peaks of Chamonix. We've marveled at the grandeur of the Palais des Papes in Avignon and stood in awe of the island fortress of Mont Saint-Michel. And who could forget the sun-soaked beaches of the French Riviera, a playground for the rich and famous? Each place, a chapter in the grand book that is France. Each place inviting you to step in and write your own story. France, a country of endless mysteries and unparalleled charm, awaits your discovery.